All right, people, let's get straight into it, man. This is a interesting topic for Atlanta Falcons fans right now. I talked about this earlier in the rant <clears throat> um, today. If you guys have not checked it out, you might want to check it out and hide your kids, hide your wife, hide all that you adore because that one is pretty vicious, all right? That rant is pretty, pretty vicious. It's something I've been holding back for quite some time, but let's get straight to this, man. A lot of people are wondering if the Atlanta Falcons will go out and sign two guys, Yannick Ngakwe or Jarvis Landry. Now, the Falcons are seemingly, and I say seemingly as far as the wide receiver position, in need of a guy that can go alongside um, Drake London. I think Drake London has, uh, you know, for the most part, um, convinced most Falcons fans and critics as far as the media is concerned um, they've convinced him that he, he's he's pretty much a number one. He is that guy in Atlanta. Now, we're still trying to figure out what Kyle Pitts is going to be at this moment. Um, if he's going to be healthy, is he going to come back the same Kyle Pitts that we know and love? So, Jarvis Landry is something you know, the Falcons, uh, you know, a lot of people are putting out there. So, there's, there's a rumor that, you know, Jarvis Landry, Landry could be that guy. I'm not sure if I'll go that that route the Falcons don't necessarily need them they have Mac Hollins and I'm I'm confident that Mac Hollins can be a very solid number two number three wide receiver uh Scotty Miller he's another guy that can be a solid two number three um receiver just my opinion let me know what you guys think about that but Yannick Ngakwe you know this is a tweet from the um Australian Falcons fans uh and let's say 9.5 million in cap space remaining um do you guys think the Falcons should take Yannick Ngakwe and I'm going to say no not because I don't think Yannick is a very good player I think he's a pretty good player as far as the pass rush is concerned he's going to get you four to six um you know sacks at the end of the year I, I think he can get you that and the Falcons definitely need it all right but I think my point in not signing Yannickway, Yannick Ngakwe and why the Atlanta Falcons won't do it is simply because one thing is that the Falcons have youth. They have guys like D'Angelo Malone. They have guys like Oakland Dacia. They have a guy that I think who's going to be a very good pass rusher in Arnold Ebiketti. Give him a shot. The Falcons are good at edge right at this point in time. Caden Ellis, uh, Arnold Ebiketti, these guys are going to be very good for the Atlanta Falcons. So on that I don't think the Atlanta Falcons will go out to get Yannick Ngakwe, and if they do, it'll be for a deal, one, two-year deal, and he's going to come in for the vet minimum. He's going to want to be here because the Falcons, at this point in time, they do not have the money to go out and get him. So let me know what you guys think about this. This has been your boy, man, Michael, dressing the Atlanta Falcons rumor mill. I'm out of here, baby. Peace.